fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Lisbon, Portugal, and today we're going to talk about our five things that tourists love and kind of hate about visiting Lisbon. And in general, you need to know, you are going to love your time in Lisbon. This place gets ranked as one of the best places to visit in Europe, one of the best weekend destinations in Europe. So the loves are a lot stronger than some of the kind of mild annoyances, really, that you're going to have when you're here. But one of those mild annoyances, probably the one thing I dislike the most about coming to Lisbon, and really our first hate, is really the kind of uh, hashish cocaina guys and you'll see if you were tourists they don't usually bother locals and also they don't bother a lot of female travelers as well but if you're in the baisha district you're in the body alto district you're walking around inevitably some guy will walk up to you and be like hey need some sunglasses no nah, i'm good man oh wait maybe some marijuana what hashish cocaina you're like whoa that escalated quickly and my friend i mean you have people coming up to you quite often Yesterday, I was walking in the Baixa district. I literally walked down Avenida and walked to Praça do Comercio. I had five different people proposition me for cocaína. And I feel that's a bit excessive when you're here. And we were here for the Feshes Popularis. And as I'm going around the Feshes, people randomly walk up to you, like, cocaína? And, and this kind of stuff really gets annoying after a while. And it's something that really puts a bad kind of impression of Lisbon on people and on travelers. When in reality, those people usually are from Lisbon. They're not really talking to anybody from Lisbon. Honestly, they're probably not even selling real drugs anyway. So just be aware of that and know that that's something you got to deal with when you're here. So one thing I tell you is just don't engage with those guys. Because if you don't engage, just say, no, no, but you got you know, that, that's the easiest way because they'll move on to somebody else. But if you engage with them, like there was one guy, he's like, oh, how much is it? And the guy's like, oh, well, let's talk business. He's like, oh, no, I'm too old for this. He's like, ah, oh, 62 is not too bad for cocaina. Look, just just don't engage with them, but just know that's going to be a bit annoying, especially if you're out in the evening time in Bari Rao, so you'll, you'll see the people. And the thing is, the reason why those guys are there is really the second thing you're going to hate, which isn't really a bad thing, it's just a fact of life of being in such a great city, is that on the weekends, Lisbon gets packed. I mean, we're talking super, super, super packed, because it's not only people from all over the, you know, Europe that's coming here, people from the U.S. that are coming here. Also, the Portuguese come to Lisbon for the weekend as well. And so the Lisbon really, really, really gets really full on the weekend. So when you're going through Baixa, there's people all over. When you're in Barrio Alto, you know, you're, 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 it's hard to find space at the bar. You need to make reservations for restaurants when you're here. And that kind of like makes things a bit frustrating because you want to go to Belém, have your push dice to Belém. You want to go to the Mosteiro de Jerónimo and, and see all the mainland architecture and all these kind of things. And there's, there's just a lot of tourists. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's that the city is so awesome that we make it kind of annoying for people that come here. So when you do come, if you're looking to come, I do recommend try to come during the week. Because during the week, I mean, honestly, I've been here for eight days and it is completely different weekends and weekdays in terms of how packed it is, how busy it is, how easy it is to get into local restaurants. I mean, that's the best part. I can go to any Tashka I want, you know, a local restaurant I want here in Lisbon during the week. That's really nice. But just know the weekends, you're gonna be coming here. You wanna go to events, you wanna go to restaurants, I would reserve beforehand. And like on Friday, if you're walking around, you can't get into a restaurant, just be like, hey, can we get two for tomorrow night? And they'll help you out for sure. And the thing is, the curse that this city has, why all those tourists come here, is honestly the first thing you're gonna love about it. Just how gorgeous Lisbon is. I mean, the city, from the architecture, to the people, to the food, to the museums, to the, you know, the Belém district, Alfama district, when you're going up there, you see the Say, the cathedral, you see, you know, the Castelo Sao George, George, you know, St. George Castle. I mean, the city is just gorgeous and all the lookouts they have, so you can take in that beauty. It's amazing. Like, I'm right outside the Museo de Arte Antiga, the ancient art museum. Fantastic collection there. I mean, there's so many things to do here that people get drawn in for all that beauty. And whether you're going to Australia to see the Basilica there, or you're going down to the Expo and having a more modern experience, the Ocean I mean, there's so many great things here and it's just such a gorgeous city that whether you like more modern stuff like the Expo, or you like more historic stuff, like we walk around Baixa and the Elevador Santa Cruz to see that. I mean, it's just a gorgeous city. Like you can't help but fall in love with Lisbon when you walk around. But I will relate to the walking around thing later that maybe won't be so lovely. But anyway, that's, that's for later. I don't want to spoil anything, all right? Now, the next thing you're going to love about when you come to Lisbon is for a capital city in Europe. You're not paying capital city Europe prices when you're here. I mean, Lisbon is a very affordable destination. I come here quite often. I used to live here for five years, and I'm going to tell you, living here is wonderful. You don't have to make a ton of money to have a good life when you're here. And that passes on to the travelers as well. So you're going to go out to eat. You're going to go to the museums. You're going to go do the sites. You're going to do things here, eat, drink, and make merry. 
you can do it at an affordable price so everybody can enjoy it. It's not just super rich people or it's, oh, it's only for the backpackers kind of thing. There's something for everybody in great price range. Isn't that something that you really enjoy when you come here? But when you're taking in that beauty and you're enjoying all those prices, you're gonna be going around and that's where we're gonna go for our next hate. Now, before I get you too far in love with Lisbon, we need to go back to those hates. And I think another hate you're gonna have when you come here is your road and roadside experience when you come here. And this includes quite a few things. This is the white knuckle driving when you're driving yourself through the city or when you're in a taxi, or when you're trying to hold on when the bus is taking a turn. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a little rally driver in everybody here in Portugal and you feel that when you go around the city and when you walk on the sidewalks, sometimes you feel it too. And, and what's scary about your roadside experience is with all those beautiful little cobblestones, you know how they make those awesome designs and just beautiful to see. When it rains, those things are slick as not. But also they get very uneven very quickly and I've seen a number of tourists and locals falling on those things. I mean, I slip and fall almost every other day when I'm here. I mean, it's to the point, I don't laugh when people fall anymore because I'm like, yep, yep, totally happens, totally happens. But that's one thing some tourists don't like because if you have bad knees, bad ankles, you're not very mobile, that can take away from your experience here. So do be aware of that. So have good grippy shoes, make sure you're paying attention when you're walking around. Don't be walking like this, stop, look like this, and then look back down to see where you're gonna walk, all right? Because honestly, whether it's driving with the taxis or getting thrown around the buses, or my goodness, your Tram 28 experience, look, you, you don't have to do Tram 28. There's lots of lookout points around the city. There's other ways to get around, but being in Tram 28 smooshed up in there with all the other tourists going, oh, this is fun, when it's like 35, 38 degrees Celsius, like, you know, high 90s, is not a good time. You will not enjoy that. So the fourth hate I have for you when you come to Lisbon, we're kind of sticking with that kind of road theme and, and getting around theme, and it really is, it's the hills. I'll be honest with you, you're gonna walk a lot when you're here and there's lots of hills here in Lisbon and you're gonna to need to walk them. And if you come from a country like the Netherlands or you're from the, some parts of the Midwest in the US or any place where it's really flat, doing these hills, I mean, your dogs are gonna be barking. Your feet, your calves, your butt, your hips. I mean, it is a bit much and that's why some tourists are like, oh, I hate all these hills. That's why those tuk-tuks that aren't really traditionally from here have become so popular with the tourists because they're not used to all those hills. So before you come, make sure you go to the gym and don't just walk on the treadmill, put it up really high or go on the step, actually be better. Do the stepper and put it out its highest setting. That might get you ready for some of the small hills here because you will be doing that. And that's another thing. Going along with that is something I heard tourists not like. And when you have the steepness of the hills plus those wet bricks, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Now with those rally drivers and the steep hills and the slick streets and all those things, sometimes you're thinking, why do I even leave the house or the apartment or the hotel? Well, I'll tell you, because the third thing you're gonna love when you come here, the food scene. Look, Portugal in general, they love Portuguese food. Lisbon is no different. When you go around the city, you have lots and lots of opportunities to eat local Portuguese food. And that's the thing is, so many people come here for a weekend, you don't need to try Italian or Spanish or Indian or whatever. You can eat Portuguese food like mad when you're here. And the thing is, if you're going around, look for places called Tashkas. Tashkas are mom and pop restaurants that traditionally serve traditional Portuguese food. So you can get your assorda, which is basically like seafood stuffing, I guess you'd say, with shrimp and, and or you could get Porco preto, Iberian pork, black pork, oh, that's so good. Or the fresh seafood that's here, like I could name about 400 things. Robalo, Dorado, I mean, those are, that sea, uh, sea bream and sea bass, that's really good. Or, you know what, maybe you want to step back a little bit and just have some sweets in your here. Yeah, the pastel de Belém, of course, that's where it's from, it's from here, the pastel de nata, the custard cream cakes, you can eat really well here. Now, back in the day, when I talk about the food, I actually put in a hate because I would say something about how they give you all this food on the table, they don't tell you how much it is, then you find out later how much it costs, you don't have to worry about that anymore. When you sit down, you'll see there'll be maybe olives or bread or something on the table. Don't eat it yet. Wait till the menu comes and you can look at the prices of them to decide if you want them, okay? Because that's something that throws off some travelers. But honestly, the food scene in general here, you will eat Portuguese food fantastically. So eat Portuguese food when you're here. And also, if you're gonna be here for the weekend, Friday and Saturday nights, it's really important that you reserve 
a place to sit at the restaurants you want to go to. So maybe when you're walking around Friday, make a reservation for Saturday night. I know that's what I did. So just think about those when you're going around. Or if you're looking up online for places, don't be a surprise. You need to make a reservation before you get here. But also remember, um, things go a little bit later here, but, but I'll talk about that later, okay? So going out to eat leads into my fourth love of coming to Lisbon, and that is you get to meet the locals when you're here. If you're here in June for the Festival Populares, the festivals, people are out and about having their sardinhas, having their cervejinhas, their little beers, their sardines. They're out there talking. They're out there getting to know people, like their neighbors, their friends, the other tourists that are there. And that's what's so cool about it. This is a city that, one, you can speak English with a lot of them because they speak English very well here in Lisbon. And they have a great accent because, one thing, TV, it's all in English, okay? And then they just do Portuguese subtitles. Well, it could be in German. It's a German show, yes. But in general... All the stuff is just, it's not dubbed. They have subtitles. You go to the movie theaters, it's subtitled. It's not dubbed. So people are used to hearing English, so it's a lot easier to communicate. And also, they want to communicate. They want to know, did you like the porco preto? Did you like the robalo? Did you think the assorto was a bomba calorica, a calorie bomb? Yes. Yes, I did. So that's one thing that's really cool is you get to meet the locals. So whether you're going out to the bars, you go down to Baru Alto and having drinks there, you're going even to tourist parts in Baixa, going to Alfama, you're going somewhere farther afield, just going shopping at the mall in Colombo or Amoreras or wherever, you can talk to the locals. And that's what I love about when you come here. And, and the thing is, if you want to meet the locals, one of the things I'm going to have to lead into is the fifth hate, and that is the timing here. Look, as a tourist, you're probably not used to eating at nine or 10 o'clock at night, let alone getting ready to go out and get your reservation for nine or 10 o'clock at night to get to the restaurant. And for some tourists, that's a bit too much. So they're like, oh, I wanna get dinner, but there's nothing available. Because what you need to realize is from three until about seven or eight, a lot of restaurants here in Lisbon, the kitchen's close. Now you get maybe a snack or a sandwich, a, a tostamista, which is like a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. But in general, the restaurants, like the big plates you wanna have when you're here, aren't available in the traditional restaurants. Now, if you're in Baixa or you're in Barrio Alto, you're some of the more touristy areas, there'll be places open, okay? But you don't want that. You want to have the real deal, and it's closed at that time. And also, going out late night, if you want to enjoy the nightlife when you're here, that lateness there, too, where they don't go out until midnight, 1 o'clock. And so what's funny is I see tourists that are coming back to their hotels while I'm going out to with my friends. And we're like, oh, hey, where are you going? They're like, we're going back. I'm like, oh, we're just starting. And so that's one thing as a tourist you should know because you might think, well, there's nothing going on. The restaurants are closed. Nobody's at the bar. Nobody's at the club. Now, it's just because the timing's a bit different, okay? So be aware of that and realize that that lateness also deals with service. So it might be a little slow on the service sometimes in terms of getting seated, getting your menu, getting your food, getting your check. And you do need, you do need to ask for a conta, por favor, which is the bill, please, because sometimes that takes a little bit longer. And the thing is, I've talked about so many of the great things to do in the city. Another fantastic thing, the fifth thing you're gonna love about Lisbon and why you should really make it more than just a weekend destination, is just all the things you can do outside of Lisbon as well. Whether you wanna to go to Sintra and see the Palacio de Pena and the National Palace out there, you can go see, or if you wanna to go to Evora and see UNESCO World Heritage Site Evora with the Roman temple and the aqueduct and the cathedral that's there, and of course, the Bone Chapel, which is a little bit creepy, you can do that. You could head to the city beaches, whether you're going down to Esteril and Cascais, or you go to the other side of the river and go to Costa Caparica for more of a beach party time. I mean, you've got Obidus you can go to on a bus that's just beautiful to check out with the windmill there. They have a lot of festivals, like Medieval Festival and Chocolate Festival. And of course, you want to have the Ginginia, the, the sour cherry liquor in the little chocolate cup. That's where really it's from. That's where you want to have it. Walk on the walls. I mean, there's so many great day trips from Lisbon that you can literally make it a week-long destination and spend half your time just going to the great places around here. And I'm not even talking about going to Fatima and seeing that in Batalha or you're going down to Setubul. I mean, there's so many great things that are easy to get to because there's a lot of easy transportation to get there, whether it's train or buses or sometimes even just taking a taxi to the other side of the river, the Caiparica, to go have a good time, all right? So those are the five things that I love and hate about coming to Lisbon. And honestly, for a lot of tours, it's very similar. What are the things that you love and maybe don't like so much about coming to Lisbon? Let us know in the comments below so we can help other travelers have a fantastic time in this wonderful city. And I'll say adeus from here in Lisbon, Portugal.